Well everyone, would you like to learn how to make laundry soap for three dollars for five gallons of it? When money is tight, you're all tapped out. This is how you can make do with what you got. Welcome to Homestead Tessie. So the first thing we need to do is I'm doing all this outside. It's so much easier and then I am not messing up the kitchen. I need to make a little fire and then we are going to get rainwater. Rainwater makes the laundry soap really good because rainwater is naturally soft and our water here is extremely hard. All right, let me get all of the supplies together. It's really simple to make. You don't have to make a big five gallon bucket of it. You can just make a small amount but it's under three dollars it's one dollar for one zoat soap which you can buy at walmart and one cup one cup of washing soda not baking soda washing soda and that's it and a couple a little bit of essential oil all right everyone i'm gonna get started so i can be at the fire because oh, i'm frozen all right i do not really want to waste time trying to get a fire started and I always use the fire starter, Simply Ignite. I will use this today because I really don't want to be sitting out here for a half an hour to get a fire going. So what we're gonna do is we're going to start this. And then we're gonna start laying our wood. Now this may take about 10 minutes, which is fine. I can start working on other stuff while this is getting hot. All we need to do is boil some water. When you cook with fire and you get used to it, it's not that hard at all. And it's getting warm already, so it's pretty warm. Yes, I knew, need to really drain the water barrels. I drained the one and I'll need to drain this one. So let's use as much water as we can. Now we're gonna fill this up with water and then we're gonna put it on the fire and then we're gonna add the soap and we're going to melt it. All right, we have all of our water right here. Now we're gonna go ahead and get the soap. I'm gonna change my shoes. I gotta get my warmer shoes on. <laughs> and then I'll meet you over at the fire. All right, we got a good fire going. Now we gotta put the grate on it. Wanna make sure you have your fire going really good it's because once we put the kettle on it, we won't be able to move it. All right, so now we're gonna put the kettle on. Make sure it won't fall, make sure it's sturdy. All right, there we go. Now, we're going to take one bar of Zoat soup, one bar of homemade soap and it's shredded. I did this yesterday by hand. One cup, only one cup of the washing soda. Now you can use this at any amount you wish. I'm just making a large amount. All right, now what we gotta do is melt it. So we're gonna go ahead and melt this.
It's gonna get good and hot. All right, so while that's melting, now we're gonna go get some rainwater and we're gonna fill our milk container with rainwater. If you're using the five gallon bucket method, then you're gonna fill your bucket about half full. And then we're gonna add this once it's melted to that. And then all we have to do is we have to stir it every couple hours for the first 24 hours. After 24 hours, it's ready to use. So this is really easy to make. And it's so nice and warm now. <laughs> and doing it outside for me is there's just no mess, there's no dirt, there's no fumes, and it has a beautiful scent. This is extremely gentle on your skin. This is more gentle, this is gentler than any baby laundry soap that you buy in the store. This is amazing. All right, I'm gonna put some of my items away and then we're going to mix this all up together and then I'll show you what it looks like in the milk jug. Now we're going to open up the top of the milk jug. This was given to me as a product review. So if you're wondering why I bought an expensive milk jug, I didn't. This is a product review and I was trying to figure out what I could use for it. And I love making laundry soap. And one of these will last me about six months to a year. Now typically this will last the regular person a year. But I use this for washing my dishes. I use this for cleaning the floor. I clean the toilet with this, same laundry soap. It's called laundry soap, but you can use it for so many things. I wash my floors, my walls. Basically, this is all-purpose cleaning detergent. So what we're gonna do is, we're gonna go ahead and fill this halfway full. While that's filling up, we're gonna go straight around to the back and we're gonna work on the fire. <laughs> so basically all we have to do is, we have to just work on this until it's melted. So once this is all melted, Then we're done. But you wanna get this really good and hot and melted. And believe it or not, it's almost boiling already. So back in the day, this is what the old timers did. They made their soap, lye soap, outside. Now this is not lye soap, but when I do make my lye soaps once a year, I do it outside as well. Doing things outside is just so much easier. All right, I'm gonna go get my milk jug and put it on the table here, and then we'll put everything together and then we're done. The essential oil I am going to be using is lime and I do have the essential oil links under every video of mine. So if you're interested in the essential oils that I am an affiliate with, which I love because they do support some amazing things, you can go ahead and check that link out. So here we are, we're going to mm, put some of the lime in. Simply Earth has amazing line of essential oils. I'm also gonna add a little bit of grapefruit Oh, it just smells so, so amazing. If you ever need your spirits lifted, smelling citrus like lemon and lime and grapefruit and orange really boosts your energy level. 
Now, I don't expect everybody to run outside today yet and make laundry soap, but this is thinking outside the box and this is to share with people different ways to doing things. You can make this with two gallons. So you just, I used one whole bar of Zoat soap. So that makes five gallons. So if you wanted to do two and a half, then you use a half of the Zoat soap and a half a cup of washing soda. You know, or if you want to even make it less, then you just make it less. These kind of recipes are not very specific as far as you don't have to follow it. Most of the times in my cooking, I don't really follow the recipes exactly. Now this is the recipe to use, but you can just exchange it for different things. Now a lot of people will use borax. I boycotted borax a long time ago simply because we don't have the plumbing here and I really didn't want to put borax on my plants in in the garden. But those people who want borax then you would add a cup of borax as well. So a lot of people use OxyClean. You use a cup of OxyClean with it. So there's many different things you can do. This is straight cut. This is so cheap and it works better than any Tide or any laundry soap I have ever used. Yes, this is okay for the HE washing machines because it has a low suds. Lots of people love homemade laundry soap. Lots of people hate homemade laundry soap. It just depends on what your preference is. I'm not used to commercialized things. So if you're used to commercialized things, you probably won't like this because it doesn't suds very much considering it doesn't have the dyes and all the, the fragrance, but it has a really good clean smell. And times got bad. He didn't have money for Tide laundry soap, which was a big thing in my life many, many years ago. You improvise and you make something and it's, in my opinion, it is far exceeds any home, in my opinion, it far exceeds any commercial laundry soap ever on the market. I've been using this now over 14 years. All right, let's go and put it all together so I can go inside and warm up. All right, here we go. Now this is very, very hot. So we do a little bit at a time. You can see lots of suds. That's only because it is hot and we're mixing it. And now we're gonna put our essential oils in. As you can see, well, it's hard for you to see, but everything is melted nicely. All right, I mixed up this laundry soap. I have a video on this. It's really unique what I do, but I have to put this now into smaller containers. This will last me about eight months, give or take. I use this for everything, dishes, everything. So what I'll do sometimes is I'll get a Dawn dish soap and then I'll add this to it. Well, there you go, everyone, is how to make homemade laundry soap. I'm all tapped out. That means money is very low for me. You know, I'll be the first one to admit to you that I cannot do this without you. Please, if anybody has a Facebook or any kind of social media, if you could share these videos, that would really mean a lot to me. I can't do it without you, and my views are extremely low, and I really could use your help. Thanks again so much for watching, and I'll share with you tomorrow low ways, low budget, frugal ways to just rub those two pennies together and make something happen. Bye, everybody.